Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max in deep purple. Now I'm sure you've seen a hundred of these by now, but uh, this is the iPhone 14 Pro Max in deep purple. Uh, you can see we have a nice picture of it on the front, dynamic island showing right there. You have the uh, purple iPhone on the side, Apple logo up top. On the back, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Yes, I ripped off the top tab, but I'm gonna rip off the bottom tab now. Let's take a look at what comes inside. All right, and opening the box, we are greeted with our brand new deep purple iPhone 14 Pro Max. Looks pretty nice. We also get a lightning to USB-C cable. So, nope, we're still not in USB-C. And then we have our documentation which consists of a pamphlet letting you know that you no longer need a physical SIM and activate your eSIM during iPhone setup. You also get um, some safety and handling guide, battery and charging, all that stuff, as well as an Apple sticker, and it's not purple. All right, so now the iPhone 14 Pro Max is set up. Uh, so this is not mine, uh, but as you can see, it's all set up with um, his stuff here. But uh, you can see we have that dynamic island. This is how it's gonna look uh, when you get it out here. Now, one new feature is we have an always on display. So as you can see here, it is regular. And then with the always on display, it kind of just dims everything and your time and everything stays like that. As you can see, the dynamic island now has a lock here. Um, now, always on display on the Apple Watch was pretty bad because it still had terrible battery life with that. Um, so I don't know how this is going to be, but of course we'll find out later on. Now, as you can see, the Dynamic Island is actually two separate modules. So if you look closely, you can kind of see that it is just a camera. And then we have the pill style module for our uh, biometrics. And they've just connected it with a black spot. And then they have uh, added animations and used this in interesting ways. So of course, we can um, set a timer for 30 seconds. As you can see, the microphone is now, it showed up in that little island. And then this took over. And if you tap this, this will take you to uh, your uh, app where it is. And of course, if we swipe it, swipe it up, you can see it is active on both sides. So it's a pretty interesting use of the uh, notch. As for software, it does come with iOS 16 out of the box, but there's an update for iOS 16.0.1 uh, when you get it. And he does have the 128 gig model and everything used, so he has 82 gigs left. So I'm not sure how much actually comes uh, out of the box. Another new feature of the iPhone 14 series is the camera, of course. So the modules are bigger. Uh, we have one that has 48 megapixels, uh, so it's offering better camera quality. And here's a quick comparison of it uh, next to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So the modules just keep getting bigger and bigger. And I'm pretty sure eventually it's just gonna take over the entire phone. But as you can see, it's uh, even bigger from last year's model, but it is very similar design. Uh, you can see the 5G window is uh, bigger on the new model here. And on the side, of course, we have no SIM card tray. Uh, they have moved the uh, volume buttons down on the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. And as far as cameras, of course, we have a new 2X option in both video and in photo. Um, and that basically just crops the current image. Uh, as far as zoom is concerned in photos, it's still 15X. So still lags behind the competition as far as zoom is concerned. And then we go up to 9X. And that is exactly the same as what we had on the 13 Pro and Pro Max. Right, so you might be wondering, can I use an iPhone 13 Pro Max on my iPhone 14 Pro Max? Well, the answer is kinda, sorta. Same design overall, but there are some differences that cause this not to fit very well. So uh, you can see on the side, you can still access your uh, silent switch. Our volume buttons still work. However, the camera module is too big, so it barely fits in there. Uh, so on this side, it's gonna not fit very well. If you can't even hit the power button on this side. So if you need to use an iPhone 13 Pro Max case right now, you can, um, but it won't work super well as you can see. Alright guys, so there you have a quick unboxing and first impressions of the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the deep purple. Uh, you know, initially I saw this color and I did not like it just from the pictures I saw, but after spending some time with it, it actually is a really nice color. Um, I'm personally fond of the blues that the iPhone has had for the past two generations, but of course we need to have something different. Um, so it does look really nice. It's kind of grown on me, but I still ended up going for the space black for mine. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.